what's going on everybody, J-Man Espresso or Jeff, back with some more Battlefield 3 videos for you. And uh, this will be another video in my quick tips for flying in Battlefield 3. And I bet you can guess, this one is for the Jets. Now, um, in the beginning here I'm just going to do some basic maneuvering around. Um, here's what I suggest for the Jets. Um, if you're not going to use a joystick, you can have you have two options. You can use um, like an Xbox 360 controller. You know, this is assuming you're playing on the PC. Um, you can use an Xbox 360 controller, PlayStation PlayStation controller, any type of gamepad, um, or the joystick. I personally, uh, for PC games, I play with a uh, Razer Nostromo, which is like a little mini type keyboard with a little D-pad on it. I like it. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. Um, and I use a uh, very high sensitivity mouse. I always use a very high sensitivity. Uh, I just like it, you know. So, um, basically, um, you have your forward uh, thrust controls on WASD. So you can go, like right there, that's the afterburner. That's shift, so that's like run. And then you have forward throttle, reverse throttle, or slow down, which is uh, W and S. And then you have A and D for strafing. Um, and then, uh, basically, uh, for your rolling uh, and pitch, you can use the mouse. Uh, you want a much higher sensitivity if you're using the mouse, but, um, yeah, I think I find it works fine. Now, what you'll see I'm doing here, I'm making this really wide turn, and I'm using the A key to do this. Um, this, this right here is to demonstrate this is not how you turn with a jet. This is incredibly ineffective, and you, you will get shot right out of the sky. Um, this is, uh, if you're using the A or the D key to turn left and right. Um, you'll stay on an even plane. I'm just gaining a little altitude here to run out of the ship, uh, to not run into the ship. And you can see it's incredibly ineffective. You, it takes forever to make a turn. So, what you want to do when you want to turn in the jet, this is what you want to do. Turn sideways and thrust up. So, and like you were going to be thrusting straight up in the air, like to do a barrel roll turn on your side and you know use the thruster uh, to go up now I don't know if I show it in this video but the biggest tip that I can give for turning like that um, the faster you're going the wider the turn will be I, I you know that wasn't something that was just like common sense to me I had to learn it from flying if you have your afterburners on you'll make a wider turn and you'll turn around slower um, if you slow down while you're turning um, I think some people call it like a cheater turn, I'm not sure, but if you turn on your side and pitch up and uh, hit the S key as you're turning, you'll almost turn like on a dime. Um, you do have to throttle up again, otherwise you'll stall out, um, but that's the most effective way to turn. So you might be asking, well then what is the, uh, you know, the left and right uh, turning for? Well you'll see what I'm doing right here. Um, while it may not be effective for turning, it's very effective for doing strafing runs, right? You see how much movement you have left and right? When you're trying to take out, uh, just lay down some fire on the ground, that's a very effective way to go. So there's just some quick tips for you guys for flying the jets. I uh, hope it helped you out. Um, until next time, Joe Man Espresso. I'll see you later, guys.